Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dehre Bagga and today I'll be playing the 5 minute blitz on Lee Chess and during the game I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always making sure that there's something to be taken away as a learning that helps you improve your game to the next level. Now before we start off with the game I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So yeah, let's start off with the game and see how it goes. Got the white pieces. I'll play London system setup. It starts with d4. Bishop comes on f4 unless, of course, opponent responds with e5 straight away and I can take the pawn. So I can now play uh, bishop on f4. Maybe pawn e3 next, trying to develop my bishop then. It's important to take out the bishop before you close its diagonal by this pawn pyramid. And since he's a knight, I'd like to go here as well. Because he'll play pawn for maybe next move. Doesn't. Um, can I pin this? But not required. Or maybe it works. I'm not sure. I'll go with this. If he tries to come up, I have to save with the knight. This would save. Because if this comes in, then I'm facing some troubles, which can only be handled by this. Or of course, I have bishop back as well. For the time being, for before moving his knight, he has to get something in between, which can be this knight as well. Taking too much of time in the opening, not a good idea. You can take and spoil his pawn structure to begin with. And maybe then go in with the knight as well. Attacking the pawn. If he tries to save with the queen, that's bad news because I want to take this and that's an attack on the pawn as well. He doesn't. I can develop my knight. Maybe trying to just place it here. Connecting both of them. So I can take and then again occupy the same square if required. I don't want to do anything about it. Just play pawn c3, just playing some waiting moves here, developing the queen now, I'm the diagonal protecting the pawn. I have one more queen move actually, which can be uh, to a4, trying to pressurize the pawn. Before that, I, I think I should play bishop here. The idea is to pin the knight, and then I can take on this or maybe this. So a few things can happen from there once I pin the knight and he removes the knight himself which can only be bad news for him I think. Okay I'm definitely going here now. If he tries to just play pawn forward I can take this bishop with the queen itself. Earlier the knight was guarding the bishop that was the problem. Now if he tries to go back it's already too late that I can take on the pawn at least with the knight attacking his queen. But rather I would first pin his knight and then do that. Let's see if he goes back or not. Got a one minute time advantage already preparing to castle on the king's side. This game looks pretty much in control for now. Maybe pawns forward can also help. I don't know what is he thinking, but the only move right now to save this is just either go for this or maybe attack counter attack on my pawn. Because once he takes, he can take the other one as well with the knight. Maybe then try to get his bishop someday, attacking my king, but I'll just castle so I can lose a couple of pawns there. Is something that often can look forward to. Meanwhile, I'm pretty much clear. Actually, if I take this with knight, I can be in trouble because if he lines up the queen as well, my knight is going to be hanging there. So it's not big of a threat that he's thinking. What rather I can do is take this and then go on my second knight and the bishop then. 
okay so it takes on the night finally after taking a million years for that he gets his bishop back okay if i play pawn forward where is he going i don't know but I won't play that as well maybe he plays pawn forward now f6 trying to kick my knight away i can come back here and maybe go there as well if i take this then problem is that this queen comes in so see what he does uh, winning on time easily at least just need to hold on to the situation maybe play pawn for a bishop there as well giving the bishop but i lose a pawn there so if he plays pawn forward i'll go back with the knight on f3 mostly and then maybe play g4 as well and then g5 trying to take on the pawn and then i can probably proceed with my knight or the bishop what is he doing in the whole game? I'm just trying to think. Like 40 seconds on the clock. Did he play in the wrong time game? Maybe. Just made his life miserable for developing, but he can still do it. It's not that his internet is not working because there's a green dot there. It says online. Bishop back was a nice move. But the clock is not going to help him. Like, can I sacrifice my queen to flag him? Not required. Time up. We just went like that. And let's analyze if our calculation was right in the middle. Actually, it was opening itself. It never went to the middle as well. Pawn e3. Um, then knight f3, standard move, trying to pin the knight, the best move. Taking was again the best move, which I did. And then playing c4 is best, but rather I went with the knight. He goes back with the bishop, which is bad for him. Then I try to develop the other knight. He plays pawn e6. I connect both my knights. He tries to attack my knight. I just let it plant there, play c3. He castles, I go with queen to c2 there, knight comes on e4, standard moves so far. And then I played this and he never found the bishop move early. But rather he took and I take back, then he finds that right move, which is bishop e8. Strain as well, so maybe nothing wrong with that. Then I played h4 and he never played in the game. He was slight ahead in fact. So he could have played pawn forward and that attacks my queen. So I have to safeguard the queen. And if I come down here mostly, um, yes, I was planning, thinking about this as well, that he will try to attack my knight and I'll come back. Here was my plan. And what's the best move there? Again, computer is still calculating. But yeah, probably would have either proceeded with this or trying to attack uh, trying to take as well that could have been one option uh, but here i would have continued with my pawn as i said and yes he can stop but there's no end to it i can exchange knights too and if that happens we're pretty good because still we can castle either side of the board yes rook to b2 was another option b8 attacking the pawn which is still guarded so nothing to be worried about um I think castling can also be a good move here. So this was a solid game, but I, I don't, don't know why he didn't play properly in time. Anyways, um, I hope it was fair enough of a video and I hope you like it. Thank you so much for your time. Please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.